Okay, so this is the leaves that I, I bought from um, so from some African shop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak the leaves in here for um, for a while so I can clean it up properly. So I'm going to leave them in this water until it's properly softened because at the moment it's really hard. So once it's softened, then I'll easily open them up and clean it up properly. Okay, so I've literally got um, maize dough here. I got this from an African shop. And usually you get them in sort of in a different, it's, I think it's popped, it's going everywhere. Usually you get them like in a different pack, but apparently this one is like from um, West Africa is a freshly one that is done. So this is what I'm going to be using for the kenke. So I'm just going to rip a bit from here. Um, so to actually work it out, I can't usually do this with my head um, calculations, but I'm doing the measurement today, so you, you guys can, if you want to. So the whole point is you you try and um, it's 683 grams. Um, Okay, so we got 800 grams in here, and we're going to split them into four, 400 grams in on each bone. Okay, so we move this one, and we need to get 400 grams. Right, hold on. Okay, so we need to get 400 grams in here. That's two. Okay, that is 400 grams. Okay, so that is 400 grams and this is 400 grams. So what we're going to now do is uh, add water. Right, let me just wipe my cooker because it's actually okay so you have two of the flour here now I'm going to cook this one into like middle and the other one I'm going to just soak it with just just to do it with water so what you need to do now is just to add salt and water in here until it's literally turned into paste okay so I'm literally just using just a slightly warm water this is the cup that I usually we use something like a mug um, so this is the first um, cup water and it's the same amount of measurement so this is like two um, two water in here so you don't want it too runny but the only thing is I I do like it like this much of texture so I don't have to like um, put so what you do is you just put your hand and just um, do it like this until all of those little bit of lamps turns into a dough okay so as i've done it like that you can see it's finished so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put on the pot and i'm gonna need salt for the taste so i'm just gonna put salt in there so you literally will put salt just like how if you're cooking any other food so let's put salt in here so you're gonna just keep doing this all the way until the whole the dough um, it actually turns into a big dough okay so i've literally done it all the way now it's getting soft and it's like that um you need it um soft literally like that you don't want it hard and if it is turning hard um like mine is doing really quick you usually just need a little just a small amount of just a small amount of water um just a tiny bit yeah. just to carry it yeah. on so you don't want it cooked all the way so you want it like 
sweetheart, just a sec, please. Um, you just want it like, just like halfway, and you are just gonna leave it on the side because um, my cooker is really high. So I've left it halfway like that, and I'm just gonna leave it and show you what goes on next. Um, so what goes on next is literally it's just the non the thing you want. The other half, I'm just gonna get a, a cup of water. So I'm literally just using um, a cup of water for my measurement and I'm just going to pour half of it in here to use my hand for this. So you will need to mix really um, firmly because sometimes the, the dough is um, a bit lumpy sort of. So you need to like break them properly. Now Kenke and um, Kenke and and Awache is usually my one of my favorite food. And <laughs> I was so glad when I actually learned how to make it. I was amazed, honestly. And I can't now actually cook it all nicely and perfect to the taste that I like by myself. I mean, this is it's beautiful, but this is my taste and my family's, and they love it. And almost every friend of uh, friends of mine taste it, and they love it just as much as I do. Okay, so once it turns like this, we are just. I'm just gonna take my. Gloves. Okay, so this is the one I soaked earlier on and you can see that it's nicely soft now So usually um, To you have to like get it clean and You take it out just gently not to rip them into Pieces or something because sometimes they break very easily So I did get all these from an African shop, which is um, I don't know if you're in if you look at where you are, but probably you could get it from any quality shop. If you try to ask, sometimes they can order it for you and stuff. So you can see how I'm taking it off, and this is how. Um, once you take that bit off, it's easier for it, both of it to come off. So um, just one, just slowly. Right, it looks like this is two, but I can't seem to find it. There we go. Right, that's it. Okay, that will be that one done. And we'll move on to the next. I mean, making this, it, it does take your time. It, it does take your time. So you've got to pick a day that you don't have to be running around because after doing all this, you've got to make peppers or pepper, brand pepper with, or maybe stew. But I intend to love it with stew or soup. Oh god. Right, this one is giving me a hard time. Okay. Right, I was rushing on that one, so I think that ripped a bit. So I'm not going to peel all of them. So usually this is how you do. I'm gonna leave it and then take my time to do the rest so usually this is what you do and you just get them one at a time and just clean them up make sure there's nothing in the leaves and you know nothing in the leaves and pass them <laughs> so see you guys in a bit you just need to um, pour just a slightly bit in there and you will not put it on a pot you literally not cook it on a cooker anymore you take it out of the cooker and you will be just mixing it up in here but sometimes if you feel like you have not put enough salt in there and that is going to cause like make it taste a little bit plain you can always put salt in the one that you've mixed just the amount that you know that it's not going to be too much in there 
so I'm literally just mixing it up again and I'm gonna pour another lot in here So you're just going to do it the same way like how you've been doing the dough to cook it but the only thing is this time you won't have it on the cooker you just have the dough mixing up by itself it's a bit tough for I me mean, you need a lot of energy for this because it is crazy let me get a spoon here to scrape every bit Okay, so that this will be like the last bit and oh my arms now I'm gonna be making a beautiful stew to go with the king K and I'll be making some awache on the side with <laughs> okay so you can see how is mixed nicely now if you don't feel like this is like gonna hurt your arms or something you can always use your fingers or wash them think fingers and just mash them up on you know on your own without have to go through this but I prefer this because it's easier for me okay so you can see my setup here the leaves are all nicely clean I've got water here which I can just dive my fingers in there any in any moment just in case so which you do is um, you first take the scoop um, I don't know you take the scoop like that literally round let me just I love washing my hands so guys sorry you're gonna stick my you're gonna see me sticking my hand in the hair so first thing you just pick up one leaf and you just put the condo on there and you take another one and you just put it over so it's literally right on top of the other and you you would just do the same you just look for the better leaves that it can cover both of all of them is like sitting right and leaving just that little bit gap here so what you do is you just gonna massage like literally like that but firmly and gentle you just do that and just twix and you're gonna try and find which ones is like easier as you're going around in circles so you can see that one is here so that's what I do here and I'll just twix and shove the tail of the leaves <laughs> just right in there you can see that and you just do that you just pat it to make sure that the whole thing everything is secure in, inside and you just take a little piece and just put it on here just to give it that no, so the leaves don't come off and also if you feel like this bit is getting loose the bit that you got you just put that in this sealed that top too and this is how I make my cake okay? and I'm just gonna do the rest of them and I'll see okay, you guys so I've literally just um, done all of them this is the last one it's tend to be a bit big because there wasn't that much in there too so that is the last one left and this is all love the cake that I've just done now. So this is the all the cake that I've done. So now is to do is just to boil the whole thing. Okay, so usually um, the simple ways I'll do them, I'll literally put a little bit of leaves. I'm using my rice cooker to do this. And I'll usually put a bit of leaves in here and I'll just place the uh, the pancake just right on top. So once I put all of them in here and then I've got um, water, so I'm just gonna pour the water in here just to the um, the height of the pancake. Not too much to the top, literally just where they give you um, water up to. And with that, I will just put um, salt for the taste and then I will turn it on. And I will just keep checking once just to check that it's cooked. So 
Right, let's swing it into this room. Okay, so I've literally left it in here for it to boil and you can see how it's nicely boiled. So it is ready, so I'm gonna be, um, first of all, drain the water out of it because then it'll be easier for me to get them out. But I will usually just leave it to cool down a bit before I take them out of it. Okay, so I've literally just dra drained the water out of it. Now on this bit, it's, it is soft because it's just been cooked. But I usually just leave it to cool down, then take them out. But I thought today just to do that, just to get it out sort of the way. <laughs> just for it to cool down quickly. So you can see how it's all perfectly done. Let me see. I'm going to leave some of them in here because it is really hot. And just happened to actually use two hands to pick them up. <laughs> Oh my days oh wow okay so once it's done I'm just gonna leave this bit because that is really hot so the reason why I put the leaves in here this is why and just so it's, it doesn't burn under and it's so easy to just clean it under so yeah this is how I make my Kenke hope you all enjoy and please don't forget to like subscribe and leave comments however you like Thank you and see ya.